right, so I'd like to talk a little bit about the propellers on the Video Ray uh, ROV submersible. Uh, there are three propellers on the Video Ray Pro 4, and uh, it's the same for all the models. The old Pro 3s, GTOs, Scouts, and Explorers all have two horizontal thrusters and one vertical thruster that controls depth. Uh, so all the props are different sizes, so you should have spares that came in your toolkit. Uh, in case something happens where one were to break or if something happened where you would lose a prop or throw a prop uh, which I have seen happen um, if there's you know sometimes monofilament or something if you're uh, offshore can get caught in your props um, it would take a lot of force but it does happen and you, and you actually throw a prop and you need to replace it we're going to show you how to do that now uh, other than that you should never need to change them uh, they don't really wear down uh, that fast or at least to the point where they would need changed um, and it's rare that they break they're they're made out of a, a real tough molded plastic so um, but in the event that something does happen we'll show you how to how to change them take them off put them back on and make sure they go on in the correct fashion so uh, we'll start with the horizontal props the two big ones here let me a little zoom there for you okay so we're going to use our 7 16 nut driver that comes in your basic toolkit and this is the same across the board for all the models. The old Pro 3 GTOs, the Scouts and Explorers all have the same size nut on them. So this tool is universal throughout all the systems and this all applies to all the video arrays. So, um, again, you want to make sure we're on a nice flat surface here uh, if you can. Um, something made pr preferably no slip so you can, uh, you can work without uh, fear of the submersible sliding off hitting the table, something like that. So, we're going to just grab a hold of the prop, uh, and again, like I mentioned, with the cartridge seal change, you might want to use a towel or gloves or something because the edges of these props can get a little bit sharp, um, and it's you can cut yourself very easily on them. So if you have a pair of gloves or a, a microfiber towel or something you can stick in there just to, to stop the spinning of the propeller, uh, that usually works pretty good. So just you're just going to nip, uh, nip the bolt there until it starts to spin. Uh, it shouldn't take too much because if it was put on correctly, it wasn't cranked down. Um, so you shouldn't these shouldn't ever be extremely difficult to get off. Um, so first piece to come off is a, the acorn nut that holds it on. Um, now you should be able to just pull this prop right off. Uh, sometimes though, uh, it does it does stick a little bit. Um, in that case, we're just going to take our seven sixteenths tool and while we're pulling. Just give it a little tap and it should pop right right loose. Uh, you shouldn't have to bang it at all uh, or apply you know extreme pressure to it. Um, it should slide right off. So this is the second piece of the prop, which is the blade itself. And then the third piece uh, is this collet that, uh, that grabs the shaft and when you tighten it down, it, it keeps the propeller on the shaft. So three pieces to each propeller, uh, the collet, the prop, and the acorn nut that uh, holds it all together. So this is the same procedure you would use if you're going to change a cartridge seal. At this point you would pop off the cartridge uh, and replace it with another one. Uh, but at this point we're just doing the, uh, the propeller. So I'm going to take the other one off to show you the difference between the two uh, and how you can tell the difference because they are what we call uh, counter rotating propellers uh, which means that there's both a right and a left pitch one uh, so they curve in different manners. And depending on how you're, you know, you're piloting the sub, going left and right, uh, they're going to spin oppositely to, to create whatever direction that you want to go. So, um, have the right one off here. Let me do the same to the left. Acorn nut. These ones come right off. This is a brand new sub, so sometimes when they use this, they stick a little bit. And the collet. So, all right, it's a good idea to keep them both separate uh, from each other so you don't mix up the, the little pieces and stuff. But get your whip and strain relief out of the way here so you can see. Okay, so there's only one way that these uh, they can go on each, um, and we have to make sure that they're put on correctly. So, usually when I'm looking at this, I'm doing this from reverse right now, but when I'm looking at from behind, 
you can see that if in the correct manner, the way that these are put on, they make a diamond, uh, diamond pattern here. So you can see, put that up against my shirt. That's the correct way they should go on. They should make this little diamond pattern in the middle there. Okay. So, you know, either take a picture of it when you first get it or, you know, consult the, the maintenance manual. This is all in there written down, but for those who like a good visual, that's a good way to do it. Just make sure that you got a little diamond going there. And that's how they go on. So the collet will go in. There's only one way it can go in until it's flush uh, to the bottom there. You can see that. Let me try to, you can see that pops out right there. It can only go in one way, so it should be flush to the propeller. And at that point, we're going to put the collet on to the shaft and the acorn nut back on until it's finger tight. Okay, shouldn't be much pressure there. Uh, same deal with the other one. tight one here. Sometimes these come out of the factory tight. Right. And end up back on top. So tight's a good thing. Um, you know, it means it's going to stay on. And it's a good idea to have some paper towels so you don't get, there's a grease on the shaft there. Okay, so now we're just going to take our 7 16 wrench with two hands, grab that prop so it doesn't spin, and then just nip it. We're not applying we're not cranking this down, we're not applying a ton of pressure. Same on the other side. Just till it's tight. You don't you don't want to force, you know, really bend these shafts in here. I mean these shafts will bend if they're you know mishandled. Uh, so be very gentle with those, but it doesn't require a whole lot of force uh, to reinstall those props. So if you take a look at it there, we have that diamond pattern in between these two here. So that means the props are installed correctly. And if they're not installed correctly, as soon as you go to put it in the water and you want to make a right turn, it's not going to make a right turn. So that that's a you know troubleshooting that if you have the props on backwards, if the, the sub's not performing as commanded, uh, then you might have them on backwards. So if you throw one too, the same thing's going to happen. So if you're underwater and you're expecting to go a certain direction and it's not doing that, um, you might want to pull it up and see if your props are still on there. So, but like I said. <clears throat> It's rare that you throw a prop, um, you know, if you get something major stuck inside of it, monofilament or wire or something, you know, maybe they break here and there, but uh, make sure your shafts aren't bent if that's the case and just pop on a new prop. So, uh, and then we'll just do the, the top one. Real quick here, there's one more additional step in this. So, but same idea, 7 16 wrench, uh, grab it so the prop doesn't spin. Um, it shouldn't be uh, very difficult to get it off at all. Same thing, three pieces, acorn nut, propeller, uh, and the collet. And we have one more additional piece here. This is called the uh, vertical splitter. Uh, basically, this is a molded piece of plastic uh, that we apply over the top. And what this does is that when the vertical motor goes to dive or surface, uh, this is channeling the water away from these uh, crevices in between the thruster tube and the main pressure hull, uh, making it much more efficient in diving and surfacing. So if that's not on, uh, you might notice you know, some difference in the performance of, of the vehicle when it's diving and surfacing. So always remember to put this back on uh, the vertical splitter. So, And again, if you're changing a cartridge seal, this would be where you pop it off and put a new one on. Uh, but we're just showing you how to put the take off and, and put back on the prop. So, Reinstalling, we're going to make sure the vertical splitter goes back on. Put the collet on first. Then we're going to put the propeller on. Now, it's the same with the back, it's only going to go on uh, one way. So you want to get that collet, put it in the, uh, the cone end there and make sure it's flush against the end of that. Okay. Push that down until it can't go anymore. You should have a little bit of the threaded bolt sticking out of the top from the collet. Acorn nut back on. Make it finger tight. And then we're just going to nip it. Boom. That's it. Do not crank down. No need to. And that's the vertical propeller. So 
Uh, again, it's a rare occasion that you would have to take or uh, uh, replace the props. Um, they're pretty solid on their own, but you do have to do this every time you change the cartridge seal. So check out the cartridge seal video. Um, there'll be a repeat of that, what I just did there with the, uh, the props, uh, and to learn how to change your seals and why that's important. So, propeller change.